What's up everyone? So today I'm going to be showing you how to skin a squirrel. Now what we have here is a very healthy male. Uh, looks to be an adult. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a bunch of pointy knife. Point at the knife. Here, come over here. A bunch of pointy knife. I prefer a locking blade, but I don't have a locking blade. So you want it pointy. This is why. You got to take your knife. Let me see. Get closer. Here. Come on, John. A little, like, you know, over the scroll. Yep. So you take your knife, and you want to cut from here down. And then once you get to here, you cut all that out, and you come up back up to here. Now, what I'll show you, I'll show you how to do this. Take a pointy knife. And I don't know how sharp this knife is. Just leave that, John. It just adds. It's like this. You want to get... A nice clean shot and normally typically you want to get him in the head otherwise well um, you're gonna one ruin your hide but this is how to keep your hide and your squirrel all at the same time so here's what we're gonna do so now that we got that opened up somewhat and take our sharp knife pull the fur back and the thing is is I don't have any like skinning knives so it's kind of like, am I in, am I out, what do I need to do now? So you got to get your knife up under the skin. It's pretty hard when you don't have the right tools though, if you know what I mean. We in yet? No, we ain't. There we are. It's a thing when you don't have sharp knives. Sharp, a, sh a dull knife is more dangerous than a sharp knife because with a dull knife you'll be pushing harder. That's how you cut yourself. Yep, there we go. Now we're in. I don't know how blooded up this leg is going to be. See, I need sharp knives, people. The problem is I need sharp knives. I don't have sharp knives. What you're going to do is you're going to get your blade up in the skin like this. See that? You cut down from here. You go down, under, and around. Here's what we're going to do. My brothers are in there playing demos of video games or something. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're playing Super Yoshi's World. That makes no sense. I know. Everyone I see... Um, has real sharp knives and preferably yes I would much rather have sharper knives but beggars can't be choosers so now what we're gonna do I got the one leg we're gonna do this leg first you gotta get in the skin which is the part that's most likely to tick you off You can find the little pockets where it's easier to cut. This is not my first time doing this, even though it may look like it. I lost my good knife. I hate doing it with this folded knife. I ain't gonna use that folding knife anymore. I'm gonna try this one. There we go, that's better. So once you get it to there, once you get it there, here's what you do. You take your, you take your fingers, grab the skin like this, and you peel it off here, and peel it off here. So what you can do once you get down, and see how we're pulling the skin back? You just want to keep working the skin, peeling the skin back. So when you get to there, this is where you gotta stick your fingers up under the skin and push using your fingers. Careful not to tear the skin if you're doing the hide. This one I'm not doing the hide. I'm just doing it this way because this is a video to show how to do the hide. But also, never cut towards yourself even though, well, I don't really have a choice to do it. Never, um, always be careful when you're, where, where direction you're cutting in. How you're cutting it, so like that, just pulling the skin back. 
pulling the skin off of the leg. See? So you see we're getting the skin off. Here's what I'm doing next. Now pull that. And we're going to pop our fingers through here. Just like this. Bam, just like that. It's popped through. We're going to pull the fur like this. Pull up to the ankle right here. Get a little closer. It's right there where the ankle is. Take your pliers. <laughs> stick them in. Cut. And take your knife. There you go. So next thing you're going to do is the same thing with the other leg. And pull. Cut a little bit more off of that one. This is a very healthy meal. <laughs> what you can do once you get that. Pull. Pull. Are you getting hair on everything? I don't worry about the hair, I just wash it off. Once you get it started, it's pretty easy once you get it started. Skin wasn't really meant to be pulled off of animals, you see. <laughs> so it's kind of tough. Pulling the hair right off. But that doesn't matter because I'm not saving this one's hide. I'm just showing y'all how to do it. You got to be a little bit more gentle when you're doing it. Save the hide. What about the tail? That's the part I'm saving is the tail. So what you can do... Same thing you did with the other side. This leg is a lot skinnier than the other side. Like I said, take your finger, pop it right through like that. Pull up, pull down. Take your pliers, plug your ears. Just like that. Take your knife, cut that tendon. Like that and bam you got that so you see what you got now both the legs are off just like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knife you got to connect these two slits so you're just gonna flip them up like this go right under like this and pull right up and just slowly cut along and get a workable point Problem is, is if you don't have good knives, everything's gonna look all crappy. So you can see cutting all this out and blood. Take the sharp knife, just slice it like that. So now you got all this like that dislocated. That's what you can do. What's wrong with you? Now you're just going to grab right here, pull that back a little, hair, I wonder why there's hair on my finger. Pull back, so now what we're going to do, so I'm going to show you how to get the tail off, that's what most people will save off the scroll is the tail. So you see right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my knife, and people can criticize me about this, I don't care, that's how I do it and that's how I've been doing it. John, back up. So we've disconnected all that, so we're just going to pull up until we get to the base of the tail. Now where we get to the base of the tail is where the pliers really come in handy. I've seen people use two sticks before. I know that that's the way some people do it. But I'm just going to do this. So you grab and you want to pull that skin up and around that tail, right behind the base of that tail, and you just pop through like that. Now you see we got the tail right here. Here's what we're going to do. You want to pull up. A little ways like this. This is just to save the hide. I'm not being gentle with this hide. Take your pliers. Stick them in there. And it takes you a couple of tries to get it right. And what you're going to do is you're going to stick it in there. And there's that tin down. I forgot to cut that tin down. So there's a tendon down at the base of the tail you got to cut. Or the butt. So you're just going to pull like that. You take that's when you take your pliers pinch the tail just hard enough see pinch the tail just hard enough to pull the skin right off so here's what we do 
just like that. Bam. You got you a tail that's hollow. There's your tail. It starts to look kind of like a rat, doesn't it? So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the meat, just like this, hold it, pull, peel it off. So we're just going to knock off any things that need to be pulled off, such as these. So what I'm doing is I'm going to show you what to do. You got all the legs and everything. And I, like I said, I'm not keeping this high. I'm keeping the tail. That's where a stinking sharp knife comes in handy. So this is graphic. This is squirrel gutting. So I'm just going to pull a little more. I want to get a good grip. And pull. I'm just going to put my finger under the skin and chop it. Go away. What okay. you doing? You want me to film it? Yeah, I didn't want to film what I'm doing right now. Thumb through. Pull. Cut the base of the skin like this. And there. Now you just got to hide and let's leave the rest of that as it can. Don't be whispering, on. What you're going to do is you're going to pull the hide, grab the hide and pull up. Let me just remove something from the equation real quick. Send that somewhere else. Uh, Penny, the Rottweiler. Yeah. Ow. I don't know how to that. Nice job. So now that we've got certain stuff removed from the equation, we're going to grab, pull up. Um, this is where you got to take your knife, slowly work at it, this is where it gets real slow, and I'm just going to take this one off the neck, I ain't doing the head one, the H-E-80 head on this one, I think I spelled that right, yeah I did. <laughs> so I've seen a lot of people, they got their X-Acto knives, you really don't need any knife, you just need a sharp knife, better sharp at all, so, you just hold it, cut like this. This squirrel is a very healthy squirrel. And I'm just taking it up past the arms a little ways, but I'm not going to do the head on this one. One, because it'd be a little graphic. So you can see where I cut, the intestines are falling out. Once you get up to the arm, you can see the arms are right here. You can pinch right here. Pull the hide up. I like to put my thumb under it and pull. Just like that. So you see now that we got this open, you can see that's the arm right there. Here's what I'm going to do with that arm. Pull the hide up around it like that. And when you get the first arm out, it's pretty easy from there. You just take, peel, a little more. Pull. Slice and dice right around that arm. Just like that. Now I should be able to pop the arm out with my fingers. So I'm just going to take that. And I got to put my fingers around his front arm. And pull the hide up a little just like that. So you can see now we're starting to get his arm out. What? It's just Jesse. Don't go around messing everything around, Jesse. So what we're doing is we're just pulling the hide up. Can I have cocoa trying to pop this arm now, out. Jake? You just ate breakfast. Jake! Yeah, but Jake, I want third breakfast. I didn't eat This oh, one was got. I actually wanted my sandwich. Sandwich from what? How come you're not focusing? John's over here sitting on a butt just holding the camera. Sorry. That's my sandwich. What about last night's sandwich? Oh my gosh. Come on. Come here. You tell him not to say that. Come on. Let's have a sandwich. Come back. Where's my sandwich? So you just got to work it around the arm. 
Take your fingers, there, just like that. Grab, pull up to the wrist. It's in the fridge! Golly. Take it, plug your ears. Are you shining or are you just holding the camera? Holding the camera? You gotta, like, you know, come on. So, the other arm, because John wasn't paying attention. Got that arm, that arm. Pull it around. Same thing with the other arm, basically. Jesse, stop crying! Should I pause it now? No, you shouldn't. You can wait ten minutes. It'd be so much quicker if I just did a squirrel for its uh, meat. But I'm showing how to do the hide. Go pee first. <laughs> what is wrong with this kid? John, you gotta like focus on what I'm doing. That's the same thing that happened on item, you remember? Yes, he left the fridge open. He left the fridge open. Of course he did. We'll get that here in a second. I'll tell him to get that. So now we're getting... There we go. That one was a lot quicker. Take it. Take your cutters. Right there, the ankle. Or the... Whatever it's called. Wrist. Pop that tendon with your knife. Ta-da. Pull it on up to the head. Pull the hide up to the head. Just like this. And I'm not going to take the head with this hide. I'm just going to, you know, use the hide. Not the head. Jesse William, if you don't stop it, you're not getting any sandwich. We got bullet hideousness on the inside. Blows everything to shreds. Did use a pellet rifle. You always want to be careful where you hit them, especially if you're saving the hide. I don't do this just for the hide, though. I've got like five or six squirrels in the freezer. <laughs> so there you go. Now we just have the head left. Now what we're going to do, what I normally do, is I cut the hide instead of the neck. Don't cut the neck. Because let me show you. Get a little closer. You cut the neck, how are you going to get the head out? So what you do is you cut the hide, then the head. I wonder where mom is. She should be home. No, dad's out working with me. We, um, I get around this head. The hide on a squirrel doesn't look that thick, but these hides are some tough stuff. This knife is sharp. That's why I grabbed it. They're just turning the volume up. They just turned the volume up on their game. Of course they did. So you can see we're getting through, just like that. This hide, I'm going to do a flat wall mount. Looks like we nicked the jugular. <laughs> They're playing World of Tanks. So there we go, just like that. Now watch. We don't have the head. There's the head. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull it inside out. I'm not going to be able to put my hand in this one. Hey, you get the gist, though. Here, we'll pull him inside out anyways. Not sure if I'm going to be able to get his little arms through. Because his claw is still attached. I'm not. There we go, though. Are you playing His front arms are still in. Pull those out. I'm just going to save the tail on this one. I don't know. Yeah, I'm just going to save the tail. So what you're going to do for the meat? Try not at this, because my mouth's probably not synced with that. Because it's a cruddy phone. You take this. I know you like that gorge on. I don't. And why you keep, like, you know... There you go. Simple as that. That was a first. So you got your guts. Got your gut bucket. So this one already ruptured a little bit. From pulling. I'm just going to cut a slit. Like this. Basically like a rabbit. Just 
I want to try not to nick all the stuff. And I'm just going to do this one like I do a rabbit real quick. Not how I do a rabbit, I cut a slit like that. Take it. Cut down the gut like that. Grab. Pull. Opens everything up. Sorry, John. It's okay. Take your knife. Every duty knife. Right here under the rib cage. Hold it like a baby. And <laughs> hold it like a squirrel. And pull up like this. It was a 20 minute long video, but that's just because we were getting the height. So now you got everything all opened up like that. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take your guts, grab the top, and just fillet it kind of like a fish, just down a little bit. Now this is how I've done it. I don't know how y'all may do it. You're just going to take your fingers, pinch at the very top, put your finger behind it, yank everything out. Just like that. Tiny kidneys. John's making a face. You should see what happens when everything splits. You wouldn't like that. So break the waist bone. Which makes it easier. It's easier when the guts don't spill out. Oh, my hand's covered in blood either way, so it doesn't really matter. So I guess I'm just going to take this squirrel. Pull. Take your knife. Cut straight down the middle, break the joints. John, stop. What are you doing? Pull out, just like that. Got a little bit of stuff left in there, so you're just gonna, just like that, pop it down the waist, pop his waist open. Take all that stuffy stuff out, where the pliers come in handy when everything starts to get slippery. Yeesh. Just like that. Happy little tree this squirrel fell out of. I shouldn't have made that joke. No. Just grab. Take all the nasty out. So now that we got that, take your knife. Slit on the side. So on the other side, take your pliers, cut, cut, just like that, and voila. There you have yourself some beautiful meat. Let me come over here. Well, actually, I don't really want to rinse this in the dishes. in the bathroom. Good idea. Good thing I cleaned it. I bet this camera's so out of sync with my mouth. Wonder what guests are gonna be thinking now when they go to use our bathroom sink. Someone got murdered. Forgot to blow that out. I'll wipe that up in a minute. Come on, let's go back to the cutting board. So this squirrel, my pants are falling down. I need a belt. This is a pretty nice squirrel. It's dripping water everywhere. So now that we've got the meat and all that, uh, the hide, you can just chop the legs off, preserve it. Um, I'm just going to put the squirrel in the bag. Voila! Now we've got the big brother, the mommy, daddy, and the little brother. This is a big brother. I know, we got a family of dead squirrels. Well, that's it. That's how you uh, do a squirrel longer, more difficult than I thought it was going to be. That's tail. And, uh, yeah. This camera's probably out of sync with my mouth, but like, subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.